everyone, to another edition of Combat Corner. Powered by Come On Now, the podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomont. I never thought I would see the day where I would see a boxer sue another boxer for kicking his ass. <clears throat> That's what we got. This early, I think it was Friday, when it was announced that Devin Haney is suing Ryan Garcia, seeking damages for battery, fraud, and breach of contract in connection with Garcia's doping violation after their April title fight in Brooklyn. Look, man. Ryan Garcia kicked Devin Haney's butt. He dropped him three times, whipped his ass royally, and yes, he came in three pounds overweight. Who cares? It happens all the time. Do I like it? No. But it happens all the time in professional fight fighting, whether it's the UFC, PFL, Bellator, any one of these MMA promotions, boxing. <clears throat> Guys miss weight all the time, unfortunately. And then that means people have lost their belts over missing weight. So you miss weight. You get paid more money. On the other, on the other person gets paid more money to keep the fight. It's kept. Haney kept the fight. He said, I'm still going to fight you. Brian Garcia can't win the belts. And he beats the tar out of Devin Haney, drops him three times, makes him look like a child. And Devin Haney's response after the Garcia piss test is that Garcia's a cheat. Uh, I want to have my zero re- re- my record put back to zero, even though it should really be a no contest. He wanted a win given to him. I think he was at one point. It, 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 there's been one thing after the other with Devin Haney and what he wants to have come out of this. But Devin Haney is a bitch. Yes, Devin Haney, you're a bitch. And I'll call you a bitch to your face. You're a bitch. You're suing a boxer for kicking your ass. He's seeking unspecified damages and alleges that Garcia committed battery because his contest was limited limited to a bout held fairly and under the rules. Do you remember when um, Antonio Margarito beat the crap out of Miguel Cotto? <clears throat> Antonio Margarito bludgeoned Miguel Cotto on July 26, 2008 to win the WBA welterweight title. And in his next fight, he was caught putting hard substances into his gloves before the fight. And Shane Mosley proceeded to beat Margarito's ass. He was caught cheating. Forget drugging, doping. He was caught putting plaster in his hand wraps. Plaster. I didn't see Sugar Shane Mosley sue margarito i mean he never got hit with it because they got pulled out before that i never saw miguel cuoto come back and sue shane uh sue antonio margarito for the beating he gave him while having a what was presumed to be a foreign substance of plaster in his gloves basically like fighting with brass knuckles it's like he was fighting with brass knuckles under the padding of the glove <clears throat> I 
Let's think about that for a second. Let's think about that. You have a guy, I mean, Miguel Cotto, tougher than, I mean, one of the toughest boxers ever. One of the toughest boxers ever. And, and like, he didn't sue him. I, 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 that, that could be a criminal, that, that's a criminal level in, in, in battery, realistically, by, by putting foreign substances in your gloves. They couldn't prove it, but he got caught in the next fight, so one can assume that it probably was the same thing. Yet, Devin Haney is suing a guy because he weighed three pounds more. (laughs) While Devin Haney agreed to participate in a prize fight against Garcia, at no time did he agree to engage in a bout against an individual who had taken performance-enhancing drug. Again, there have been plenty of fighters who have taken PEDs in the past, caught taking them, and never got sued by their opponent after the fact that I that I know of. And now it's <clears throat> Haney also claimed Garcia committed fraud because he represented he tried to make weight and failed. Garcia weighed one forty three point two, and for a fight contested at one forty for Haney's WBC Junior Welterweight title. Well, Haney, you didn't lose your belt. I mean, you didn't lose the belt, even though you should have. Because in most boxing matches, if the person who has the belt loses, they lose the belt. But the person who didn't make weight doesn't win the belt. So you should have lost your belt. The fight proceeded only after Haney agreed to a deal following the weigh-in and Garcia was ineligible to win the title. Garcia later claimed he missed weight on purpose, which I don't believe he missed weight on purpose. I think he strategically knew that he couldn't get to the weight, and so he wasn't going to drain himself like he did against uh, Gervonta Davis and said, you know what? It is what it is. I'll take the fine, and I'm going to fight. If he doesn't want to fight me, then he's going to lose a lot of money. The suit also names Oscar De La Hoya, Golden Boy Promotions. It's, I'm being sued for doing my job, Garcia, on Instagram. The fight has been a Netflix documentary, but this right here is the finale. Your honor, he simply struggles with left hook syndrome. I tell you what, Bill Haney, Devin Haney's father, is destroying his son's career. This is why parents should not be involved in their children's careers in professional in professional fighting after a certain point, <clears throat> they need to they need to go on their own on their own for at least a period of time because there's too much involvement from his dad, and his dad is the one that seems to talk a whole lot and just looks utterly silly. It's not just about Devin, not about the ch- it's not just about Devin, not about the championship, not about the shit that he did. It's about the sport and what's right and what's wrong. They say the left hook, the left hook, the left hook, and we say it was drugs. Have you seen Ryan Garcia fight? Have you seen Have you seen Ryan Garcia fight? You you you, you do recall that Ryan Garcia? I, I mean, I don't know, but last I checked, Ryan Garcia hit pretty damn hard. I mean, last I checked, Ryan Garcia got twenty knockouts and twenty four wins. He knocks dudes out. Really, I mean, he knocks dudes out. He hits hard. He hits hella hard, man. And then, of course, let's not blame the fact that Devin Haney wore a pair of shorts that looked like they would have carried 50 pounds of water weight from sweat during the fight, which made him heavier and heavier and heavier as the fight went on. I mean, my God, the wardrobe nonsense in this fight as well. Why why doesn't he sue his short manufacturer for giving him shorts that were not ever, should never never be used in a boxing match? But man, oh man, Devin Haney is embarrassing himself. Devin Haney, I, I don't think Devin Haney ever fights again. One, no one will take him seriously, for one. Fans won't take him seriously. His opponents won't take him seriously. He's gonna get clowned a lot. I think we have I think we've seen the last of Devin Haney in a boxing ring. I could be wrong, but I do think we've seen the last of him in a boxing ring. He brings nothing to the sport. He's a whiner, complainer, 
had a party after losing. I, I mean, this dude had a party after getting his ass kicked. And then, I mean, I'm sorry, he had a party then when they when they announced that he would he would keep his belt or whatever or whatever it was. They announced that his record was that the zero was being removed from the law. The one was the loss was being removed. Like you had a party over that, bro. You got the crack kicked out of you. And no, I'll never, you know, just talk down about a guy, a guy who makes that walk to the ring. I mean, that takes balls in itself. But you're suing a guy now who you got to fight with because he because he may have had a little bit of a PED in him that seems to be very, very, very small. I mean, John Jones still walks around with pictograms of whatever. And no one says a word anymore. No one cares because the UFC clearly doesn't care. But this stuff is crazy, man. I, I'm I'm flabbergasted that, that that this is. How long is this gonna go on, man? When did they fight again? When when did they fight again? They fought in April. It's only been it's only been six months, five six months. It feels like it's been so much longer. It's, it feels like it's been so much longer. Devin Haney, man, you're. You're whack, dude. You're whack. You're whack. He busted you up, dude, and you're sitting here suing him. You might want to find a new profession because you just embarrass yourself in the one that you're in. I got nothing left. Let me know your thoughts in the comments about Devin Haney suing Ryan Garcia. What do you think of that? I'd love to hear what you got to say because I've never seen anything like this in my life. That's all I got. Come on now.